I've learned over the years if you grunt at them real loud, sometimes they'll stop and not run quite as far before they die. I'm a little shaky right now. I knew he was bedding back up in that thicket. He's got a scrape right dead under my tree. It's fresh. <laughs> my son and I come in here this evening for a late hunt. Snuck in here real quiet. Made a little bit too much noise. He hurt me. He started grunting. He come grunting back at me. He come right up here to the tree checking me out. I made a good shot. He's laying right over there. I know he's on the ground. He's history. Good afternoon. Good day. My son's sitting right over there in the tree. I'm sure he probably saw the whole thing. I'm loving it. I don't know if I can zoom in on him over there or not. He's pretty well hid in that tree. But oh, A couple of weeks ago, he come right by me. I, I snuck in here and got up my stand and he heard me again snuck in here trying to figure out what I was he didn't give me a shot that day but today he messed up he come right out of that thicket I don't know if you can see that thicket or not but if you back up in that bottom it's real thick that's Matthew over there on the other side Tell me again what you saw. I saw you kill my deer again. That's what I saw. <laughs> you saw. Coming towards me, you cut him off. I'm about to stop taking you hunting with me. I get so. So what did he do? I didn't see him until you shot him. Right when you were pulling your bow backs when I saw the body. I never saw the head. I don't know how big he is. You only you know that right now. And he ran around this way crash somewhere right in here and then got out of my sight and I heard him crash again. You saw him stand up again after he crashed? Well he just kind of stumbled a little bit Yeah. and then he fell again. I knew you would hit him after that. He <sighs> He's out there. there. Yeah he didn't run far. Did you hear him beller? Oh yeah. Grunt back at me when I grunted? <laughs> Talking to me. Why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get him. got Matthew's blood trailing the deer for me. We'll just take a look at the replay of the shot. He's the smaller buck, smaller of the two. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Just gonna walk up on him easy. He ain't gave him a whole lot of time. I think he might be a pie ball dude. What do you think? I can't see him that well yet. He's dead by the way he's dead by him. That's a good one. He is a pie ball. Look at that. Pretty cool. That's your first pie ball. Dude. He's history. Is that good? Yeah. Got enough light? Yeah, it's showing. <laughs> Got a pie ball there. Got a little bit of white mixed in with his brown. That is my first pie ball there. He's a he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pointer. Ah. Uh, we thought he was bedded up in the head of that holler. I told Matthew on the way up here, I said, you know what deer? Went down in there and bedded down, I heard him, and then he just disappeared. All, all the sound, the, the, the sound, I mean, all the sound just quits. So I knew he bedded in there. Matthew jumped this deer one day coming out in the afternoon, about bumped into him. And then I had him come by me the first time I come down here hunting. But he wouldn't give me a shot. I told Matthew, he's a pretty little basket rack buckies. 
pretty decent little horned animal, no stay. That other one's bigger than him though, I'm pretty sure of it. Leaving rubs like that big around your arm in here. It's gotta be bigger than this. But anyway, heard him walking around up there, and Matthew said he heard him walking around. I grunted, he started grunting, grunting, grunting. He come down and he had to see what was going on. He's been doing a little scraping in the area, he got scraped fresh under my tree. He couldn't stand that grunting. He had to come down there and see what's going on. He come right up there and give me about a, I don't know, he probably 12, 10, 12 yards, I guess, maybe from the tree. No more than 15, I didn't really, didn't really pay much attention to it, but it was a good close shot. Made a good hit on him. He went about, we say it's about 75 yards, maybe. Yeah, if about, that far. If that far, yeah. Good recovery. Good deer. Let's get him out of here. Go home. Show him off. Yeah, you're dragging him. <laughs> <laughs> a streak of white going through the brown. That, that would classify him as a pie ball deer, would it not? <laughs> Short legs. Short stubby legs. Got that short nose. Short nose, whatever. Got the hump on his nose. Mama, you think you're a pie ball because you got yeah, short stubby legs? Yeah, right there. Mm-hmm. That must be a pie ball. Y'all don't shoot me yet. <laughs> what do you think about it, Mama? You look down there and you can see what I think. <laughs> you don't like the blood, do you? I don't like it. It's fixing to drop some more. Pictures off of that uh, video that you made of my deer. No, they're on the... They're on here. <coughs> you still mad at me, son? No, I was making fun of your spear. <laughs> I come you got your LPOA 2000 member in the up there. I don't know. Probably just stick my stickers up there. He mad. He said I killed his deer. You believe that? Seems like there ain't no deer yours nah, nah, nah. until you got your hands on it. <laughs> it wasn't my deer. It just seems like every time y'all go hunting with me anymore. You're there good Y'all are talk. killing deer and I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're start taking us hunting. Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe. I need a truck. <laughs>